Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So as you can see, the base is at the point where we need to move on to the oil washes and then after that we'll seal those in and then apply the pastels and the pigment washes. So I've just added some basic details, sort of padded out all the mud has been detailed, the web gear that's on the ground bottle, all the extra wood, things like that have been detailed. The, the corrugated metal over the thunder box has been finished. Not to mention all of the grime that's been added to the wood between the panels on certain areas. Not on all of them, but just to break it up with some light browns and things like that. And then on the vertical surfaces of the sandbags, I applied some really milky, by milky I mean thin down with water acrylics. And I just sort of dabbled that on really lightly. I didn't want it to change the, the overall look. I just wanted it to add a little bit of character to the sandbags. So stick around. I'm going to show how I thin down my oils for an oil wash and then we'll move on from there. So here is the thinner that I use. It's just uh, standard mineral spirits from an art supply shop and as you can see it comes in a one liter container so this will last you quite a while. So I just take that, put it into a little mixing cup here and I've already blended together little, I, you really don't need a whole lot from the tips of these, just take off half a pea sized part from, from the end of the tube, you really don't need that much. That's the great thing about oil colors, especially when you're blending them with a, in a wash situation, you, less is more, basically is what I'm trying to get at. And I have my burnt umber and my black here. It was sort of a, a three to one split with this favoring the burnt umber, obviously, as I wanted it to be primarily brown. So as you can see, that's a really grimy, almost oily looking wash there. And you can tell that it's just about ready or you can gauge your consistency by sort of putting it up against the thing and watching how quickly it runs down. So I'll be back once I'm done with the wash process. So here we have the base just after the oil wash was applied. As you can see, it looks like quite a mess right now. It would be neat if, uh, if this just remained this way and had that sort of glossiness like it had been raining and the rain was just drying up, but that's that's not the case, so I should stop fantasizing about that. Um, so as you can see, I've given a lot of detail to the, the sandbags, a lot of the lines have been picked out. It's quite stark at the moment, and there's a lot of cleanup to be done, but I will be doing that with a stiff detail Q-tip, and I'll show you what that means in a second, and some leftover mineral spirits. Once I give this a 15 minute head start to dry and then I'll go back and clean up the excess stuff. Yeah, so far so good. I think this is going to turn out well. So here we have the conclusion. The oil wash is now dried. I cleaned up a bit of the, the raised surfaces with some mineral spirits on the end of an old brush. And as you can see there's still a lot of staining on the wood which is actually not a bad thing considering how filthy these duck boards are supposed to be. It adds a lot of character to them and I managed to clean up uh, where you can see the lighter areas and left quite a bit of it filthy up there. It's just supposed to blend in all the colors and give the sort of the shadow areas a bit more definition and I think it achieved that quite well. Next step is going to be the final highlights and then on to pigments and pastel work. So really excited and I think it's coming along quite well. Thanks for watching. Check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com for bases, figures, mostly 135th scale stuff but all super high quality resin. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.